Welcome to Piso, Manawahadami, you misses. Pukube, welcome back to my channel. You are firstly, I would like to appreciate all my day ones for sticking around, even when days that I am a wall, even when I'm not available, like when I'm avail unavailable, when I am sick, when I'm recording just uh, boring uh, videos because I'm, I'm just not feeling well. But you guys still watch my videos, and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much for the new subbies. I I see you guys, I see you guys, and I appreciate that the more. I like to thank you guys because I think by the end of this week, this week, today is the 17th of November. I think by the end of this week, we would have reached 180 subbies, which is such a great, um, a huge milestone for me, and I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted at all you know so thank you thank you so much you guys i really appreciate it um yeah can we continue doing that so this is by the end of december before the end of december we're at 200 300 yeah so as you can see by the title of today's video guys we're gonna do uh i can't say story time but it is a short story time where i will be just taking you through my journey in analytical chemistry the first video I did in, on, in analytical chemistry was when I told you like where to study, how to study the fees and everything. So I'm just going to give you um, a short story about my personal journey in analytical chemistry. The views that will be shared today are my personal views. They are not for everybody. What I say does not count for each and every person who studied analytical chemistry or who studied a BSc in chemistry. You see, so every person has their personal journey. So I'm going to share my personal journey, Tepiso's personal journey. So my journey started at, um, okay, in 2009, the second semester, I enrolled at Valley University of Technology at uh, Fanny Bale Park in the Val. Then I did my, my, I did that. School was easy. The first semester, it was, uh, it was like a walk in a park. I got a lot of my uh, distinctions that that semester. Then I remember when I started, I didn't want to do chemistry per se, because honestly speaking, I had no idea what actual chemistry was. When I enrolled, I knew biotech, I knew I knew biomed, and I, in when I registered prior that semester, I registered for biotech or biomed. But when I got there, I was like, oh no, because I realized that biomed and biotech had a lot of disadvantages because they are like. Um, they are narrowed. Whereas um, I heard when I got to campus that anti chemistry is a bit, um, it's not what, um, it's, it's, it, it, can, it can be broadened. So I was like, okay, let me try this. I had no idea what that was. I didn't even know what I'm going to do after study. But I was like, I'm not going to die of this, so why not? So I started studying. It was okay. But part of my heart, you know, coming from a mining town, all I wanted to do was uh, metallurgy or civil engineering, some kind of engineering besides chemical engineering. I didn't like chem chemical engineering for some reason, but I love chemistry. But I hated it. And I hated mechanical um, mechanical engineering because I'm not that good. Uh, I'm fairly good in kind of game, physics. So I know there's a lot of physics in mechanical engineering. So I was like, nope. So, but when I got to Val, unfortunately, um, but again, um, there was a, a, kind of getting a waiting list for metallurgy, for intakes for metallurgy, you know. So I was ah, let me just do this analytical chemistry thing. But guys, it was so easy. The first semester was so easy. I did, I got 198 in chemistry. It was very nice. It was like, you know, cool. But in my heart, I was like, okay, I promised myself that in the same semester, I'm going to change to metallurgy because the first, the first semester subjects are basically the same across engineering and chemistry beside that you're going to have to do maybe a few subjects like your drawing and stuff like that in um the engineering field so like i'll just change and and another semester fine boom 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 from for getting a two years a year later i'm still in analytical chemistry when people got second semester were changing i didn't change i think because i passed so well i was like you know, not realizing where, it, where where am I going to? What am, like, what is my plan in this thing? I had no plan. I just studied for study. You know, uh, I think if Tepiso right now would go back to school, there's a lot of pros and cons that I would look into my career, the career that I choose. I like what I did then. Then I just chose whatever 
it was available and i didn't check where i'm gonna i didn't care about anything honestly i didn't even bother i didn't even and i remember my ex-boyfriend then was like it's a piece so but he was the one who's like no you rather choose initial chemistry than biomed but he never told me a lot about this thing until years later when i was doing my s4 i am a car lover if you don't know i love cars i i love cars there are certain cars i will not drive not because they're cheap or any no it is because i want a fast car i want a technology advanced car the reason why i'm driving my half julian is that i'm driving baby i don't know what you call it anjabulo which is my haval is that it is uh technologically advanced like it has the top uh technology so i love that you know so growing up and still today i feel like the next car that i'm gonna drive i'm gonna buy from this if i when i change my car would be a gti i don't care if your grandmother or your brother or your uncle will want to steal my car i'm buying it it will be protected under in the name of jesus yeah well, fine so i love cars so i always saw myself driving a gti i remember when i was doing my s4 my ex-boyfriend was like ah oh, ma'am let me let, let me let, let me let let me open your eyes with your salary or electrical chemistry, you ain't gonna afford that. But it was a little late. I was like, ah, you know me. I was like, who are you? Like, shh, go to hell. I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm being honest. I'm like, you're being honest now. Why didn't you say capacity? Because we, I started dating this guy when I got to tertiary. So we've been dating. So I'm like, and he always had some cheese. I was like, ah, if, if, I, if I don't buy it, you'll buy it for me. He loved, he, 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 he loved our uh, Mini Coopers. I think he's still driving one now. So yeah, so he's like, nah, I'll drive it. I'll buy it. I'm like, no, I don't like me. I want to drive a GTA. If it's not a GTA, I yeah, go to hell. You see? Fine. That's when I realized that, hmm, I think that I'm, I'm going into some trap. But girl was like, ah, no, who, no, who cares? Fine. Um, I finished my uh, my schooling. It was okay. Okay. I met two in therapy. Good. Yo. There's nothing that struck me like a mess to be inorganic. A little chemistry, two, three. I don't know, one of the two, two or three. I interrupted. But I failed it once, then I next semester I passed it. So that was not that bad. But mess two, I had mess two interrupted. It showed me flames, guys. Jo, jo, jo. Yeah. But thank God, if I eventually I passed it. <laughs> so anyway, I got um, Twela. I remember after in seven, okay, before Kaka S4, Kofal, they give you a sheet. Of companies that you can work for where people you can call and their numbers so after my I think after it was December I went home I started calling no not December I started calling in January no I started calling I think I finished my school in that June then the first few months I was still it was still nice chilling at home with my aunt go to Jvili with my aunt they, my aunt had a catering company so I was making money so it was just chilling and I was eating it was nice watching TV doing nothing so I was like but eventually I was like, no, I gotta have to, I have to find a job because it's going to the end of the year. And you know that by the end of the year, most companies start hiring. Then I was like, you know what, let me sort this thing out. Then I did that. I started calling different companies. Then eventually, thank God, two companies were like, send your CVs. I did. And then one of them, which was Lafarge Cement, called me. At that point, I did not even know what came on. I was like, I think I heard orange something. I was like, orange something. I googled orange something. What's this company? I didn't know. But I accepted the interview. But thank God, I think two days before my interview, they called again. They were like, uh, it is Lafarge Cement, QDSA, blah, 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 blah. Don't forget our interview. That's when I got the name and I started preparing. At that point, I prepared, I prepared. Remember, naturally, I'm shy. What if you guys meet me uh, away from me and the camera? I'm very shy. So it, it is not easy for me to do any personal one-on-one -on -one. it is right now i think right now i'm much better right now i think um matata alifati you know challenges of this world gave me a toughened me up and they gave me a very tough character like right now i'm this i'm super stubborn sadly i don't take rubbish uh i just don't take yes i won't just say yes because you know i'm um yeah i think that's it, it, it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because it really altered my character i think should my mom come back and 
she spent time with me she won't know me she will not recognize me because the character that i have now it's not me you know it is not tape so growing up it is tape is, it, it's a nice one because i'm you can't I, yeah, you can't just skin it run on top of my head anymore before you could i would be crying i was a cry baby i was a mush i was a marshmallow right now yo i think i'm as i'm as tough as a diamond you for me to cry you need to like push me very 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 hard so that's why i'm saying it's it's good and bad so then at that point i was still very fragile i was a marshmallow at that point so i prepared for my interview went for my interviews i passed I think it was the first company that I went for my interview was the first company that I worked for. Thank God I got a job in service training for a year. We did well. I think a few months later, after researching, after working for months, I started realizing that well, this thing is not for me. You know, it's not for me. But for some reason, I was still there. I didn't resign or think of studying anything else. I was just there, you know. So that's why I always say that I think initial chemistry is not my personal choice, but it is a calling from the father because no matter how much I hate this job, this career, God still, I'm still there for some reason, you know, it might not give me hundred percent happiness. It doesn't give me happiness guys. Waking up, coming here does not really give me the like, I'm not the happiest person. No, I'm not, but I'm still here. You know, every moment I come here fine okay cool i started i did my in-serve it was good i saw pros and cons of potential chemistry i think the biggest pro pro cons that i saw was that standing up you are on your feet so if you are lazy if you want to be yeah if sitting down do not do analytical chemistry because most companies you are on your feet collab these are the few companies that you have somebody's preparing the samples for you and when you are just the, the, the senior technician but i think when you start you're gonna be collab or you'll be doing errands, you'll be mixing, you'll be doing that, that and that requires you to be up on your feet. Then I realized that is not for me. I, I want to sit on my chair and look at my two monitors. Right now, in the front of me right now, I have two monitors. I think this is my kind of job where I'm here, my two monitors, okay, my monitor and my laptop. That is me. But this thing of standing up for days and hours, it's not for me. Yabo. That's when I realized that. And the other thing that I got to realize was the salary. My salary as an intern was 6,000 rands, 6.5. It was enough, it was okay for me. But when I uh, asked my colleagues, which were older than me, who had like five, 10 years of experience, their salaries were ridiculous. I remember one of the ladies had three or four years experience. Her take home was around 9,000 rands. That was ridiculous. With 9,000 rands in South Africa, you cannot have a decent living you cannot buy a nice car and a nice house so it means that you're going to have to rent and buy a car or you're going to have to take a taxi and buy um a sub like you know those small and houses just to have a living so it was not for night i saw that as unfair because we did go to university we studied very hard analytical chemistry is one of the hardest subjects you can study besides mecha mechanical engineering or cat there's something they call cat that wraps a lot of people of ut so beside that i know until chemistry is very hard i remember a lot of people moved from until chemistry because it was hard to uh, chemical or civil engineering and they passed so you can see it's very hard and i remember other people who say that when i got to the, the working environment people a lot of people say yeah now we moved from a little chem because it was too hard for us because it is hard you understand in organic it's not for, it's not for the faint-hearted guys it's very hard but at the same the sad the saddest part about it is that you get the least paid fine the, so that's the two pro cons i saw that i don't like it fine i studied i enjoyed my work it was not interesting because it was routine. the third thing I, it's routine it's routine 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 every day you are routine there's a routine job every day so it was annoying and boring but we had to do it anyway fine we did that and then eventually i finished my serve submitted i graduated it was exciting it was a very exciting and sad moment for me because i just i lost my mother and okay years like very long time ago but you know when big milestones in when you reach big milestones you wish both your parents were here to celebrate you you know my mom was that person who pushed us i remember my mom would tell us if you pass grade seven very well i'm gonna take you to these special schools because you guys are clever and blah 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 
So every time when I reach a good mile, a high gain, a milestone, I, I wish you as you to see me excel in life. Fine. Okay, cool. I did that. Um, then after graduation, I had no job. Then eventually decided to go back to do my BTEC, which is equivalent to a degree. So I started that, then mid-year, not mid-year, like the first two months, three months, they called me for Lafarge for um, a graduate program. I refused the graduate program because I realized I don't like this. But the funny thing is I'm still in school, but I don't like it. Yeah, my life was complicated at that point. <laughs> Eventually, I went back to school. I went back to, but again, I, I took the job in May. I started my insert, my graduate program where I was earning 12000 my take home was around 10 point something because I had medical aid to pay and UIF. But it was exciting because they paid part of it. So I'm happy. CB has medical aid. I'm a, I'm, now I'm a grown up woman. But still at that point, I saw that we don't, we are not getting enough money. Because my peers who are going to who are going to get, okay, when I evaluated my life and my boyfriend's life, my boyfriend was a industrial engineer, my ex-boyfriend, guys, not my husband, my ex-boyfriend was an industrial engineer. He, he did in the industrial engineering. So at the level that I was after my graduate program, Vienna, when I started earning 12,000 rands, my, my take home was 10, his take home was 50. Do you understand? So there was a lot of difference at that point. At the second year of work, then, so that's when I started seeing one of, to be honest guys, we don't study to just study. We all study to make money, to make a living. And a living is money. But this world requires us to have money. For me to buy my GTI, I need money. I don't need excitement. I don't need a, a, a white coat. But I need money. So I realized then that... But for some reason, as I've been repeating, I, stuck, I stood there. I didn't move. I didn't go study anything different. Fine. I did that. We worked. It's routine, guys. What I did when I was doing in and what I was doing when I was graduate, and people who were a permanent who were lab analysts, we did the same thing. There was nothing exciting. Guys, there was nothing exciting. The only exciting part is when you, you, you are like, raised with the project, which I was, thank God. Then I was working for Lichtenberg, the lab thing in the bigger plant that Lafarge had. Then at least that point was exciting, but it was more of a holiday for me than learning. You know, because it was exciting, guys. You're staying away from home. So, yeah, we did that. Life was good. I got my permanent job. Well, uh, St. Coban, the same company that I am working for right now. Um, this is the company that I'm still, I'm still there. So, yeah, I was excited. But stupidly enough, when I was getting my job, I didn't bargain for good salary. I just took whatever they gave me, which I still regret today, until today, you know but it was what it was and yeah when i got here i think what excited me was a, a permanent job but yo guys it was still the same routine 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 you know so i realized that i'm not it doesn't like routine i know every career has routine yes job being a teacher you're gonna come in sit down be greed it's, it's a routine it's job but i feel like there's a difference you meet different people, different kids. You are interacting with different children. With me, it's the same people, the same samples. Yeah, you know. But eventually, I worked as a lab analyst for, I think, the first four years of my life. In uh, Not my life. The first four years when I moved to St. Coban. At this point, remember, I had three years. So I worked for six years. Then I got my... We prayed, we fasted, we cried, we got angry, we were on go slows, we hey, when we threw every tantrum that we can think of so that we get these promotions, but we stuck on the believing in God. And God saw us through. Eventually we got our promotions and we got salary adjustments and I moved from a lab analyst to material technician. This is the position that I'm still in right now. And the sad thing about analytical chemistry, guys, in certain, uh, not all, uh, please hear me and understand me very well, not in all uh, companies, 
in mining companies and uh, refinery companies guys you will have different promotions different levels to work for towards but in others there's just a like there's nothing there's no way you're gonna go there are no promotions like they're very like the i don't know how to say it the um, what i don't know how to say this thing but there are no promotions guys like from not right now if i need a promotion i need to get out of my department right now i work as i work in a research and development uh, department so should i want a promotion i need to get, get out of it I need to go to the plant or different companies that is the sad thing about natural chemistry there's nothing for me to work towards you know i tried studying i tried doing different things i tried what i've been trying to see because i love studying guys i i'm a i'm a i'm a bookworm not just reading books i do that that that's one of my favorite hobbies but i'm saying study like literal studies for exams passing graduating that is me but i stopped for a while because i don't know what to study next because i don't want to study things just for studying i want to study something that will impact my career but what is it you know i've been googling i have been hey when i've been doing everything that i could to just check out from here where can i go where, where can i branch to but i can't find anything guys i even prayed i prayed and i fasted for this but i still don't get where to go from here i'm a bit hungry right now but let me finish first so yeah uh, that's the problem about natural chemistry besides in, in, in mining engineer in mining uh, companies in mining companies and there's i know i've heard that there are movement you can move but with us there's nothing from here there's nothing i'm gonna like one of my colleagues has been a metal technician now for five years six years seven years there's no way to go for him so it seems Lena is the same thing you have reached apply to who so that's the same thing about natural chemistry and I, I i continuously preach to my to my younger uh, future colleagues sorry if you're doing natural chemistry move do something better guys do something unless it's a calling then it's fine but if it's not you are just there because you wanted to go to school and that was the only available course guys second semester move your butt to another course go do engineering engineering has a lot of opportunities and a lot of career growth and like and i just it has nothing guys yo i'm not gonna lie to you i i, I sit right now and ponder and think about what my ex-boyfriend said about me not getting enough salary a good salary yes right now after my promotion i, I do get my salary is okay but when i base it with him the salary that i'm getting i'm sure he got when he was in his fifth year of like five year working experience and right now i'm on my 10th so you understand the difference so right now in i'm sure right now in his 10th he's getting paid more 45 to 50 thousand 60 70 80 thousand right i'm still getting paid you see so it's it's a very sad sad thing reality that a little capital does not pay unless you, you can you work for those like there's just a bunch like i can't I can count those companies that give you a very good salary. Most they just give you a mediocre salary. But unfortunately, that is the, the, the target. That that is there's this term that I wanted to use, but I forgot it. That is the benchmark. Yes, that's the benchmark of our salaries as analytical chemist. And it's very sad. It's very, very sad. Um when I look amongst my peers, the ladies and gents that I worked with, most of us are just diving. Ne? They're driving just simple cars. They're just living in moderate houses. Very few are living in. I I I, I think the I don't even know one. Let me not lie. There's not even one that I know that lives in a very huge mansion. If he the person is surely the husband or the wife is rich, it is making a killing. But it's not because of him. That's the sad reality about analytical chemistry. You will not make money if you want money like I do. Do not do analytical chemistry. Do not. Change. Change. Change again. Go study medicine. Go study. It takes time, yes, but after that, you'll reap the benefits. I like you studying your butt out of chemistry and you're not going to make a living. You're just going to study and have a just just descent. We don't live for just descent in trailer. I'm telling you, influencers make triple your salary. 
mm -hmm. by just sitting and taking pictures mm -hmm. so don't guys you just, you know, i won't encourage my kids or my siblings or my cousins or anybody that i know that i really love to do analytical chemistry given a chance as i repeat even my boss knows it but given a chance, I would not study this. I would study something else. I would have studied. I think even teaching is way better than this. Because I think when I checked last night, like, two years back, I wanted to move from here, from chemistry to teaching. I remember my salary was going to be better. Go teaching than here. And go teaching when you study every whatever, when you move to a different level, you get money for that. Where go and tell chemistry in different companies, they do get it. Like in the company that I work for, I do my master's, good for you. I do my PhD, good for me. So it's not beneficial financially. So why study that? Why? <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm no longer that frustrated. Right? And I'm just, I'm like, you know what, Father? Ah. So right now I'm on a moment because ah, anyway. So yeah, you guys, uh, that is my little short story about my career so right now there's not much there's no i can't i'm not going anywhere unless god intervenes and gives me something better but with the program of the company there's nothing that i'm doing i'm gonna do anything i can study anything and everything but unless i jump ship and move to different companies or different departments then that's when i might grow but when you move to different uh company again different um departments i might have to start at go entry level if i move to supply chain and work procurement i might i'm going to move go 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 again go, go, go entry level because again i don't have the experience remember i have 10 years experience in chemistry not in supply chain but god graces us differently my love let's let me tell you something god graces us differently god can grace you and he can uplift you I'm not I'm not just telling you the sad thing about my life, but I'm also encouraging you how God can uplift you from that boring thing. He can just allow you to study something stupid so that people see as stupid and you excel in it. You understand? That's why I always preach Hore from a tender age, go from grade seven, pray and ask God, Hore Father, yes, I'm grade I'm in grade seven, I'm in grade eight. What have you called me to do? What do you want me to do? What is my purpose? concerning my career and god will give you you know if you are listening he will give you and it will help you and you will live in god's ordained um you, you will live in god's ordained um but again career you know and then that will give you like you will flourish you will flourish people didn't study but they're making million they're millionaires today because they're living in the field that god have called them to you know so right now we are we are now we just woke up and studied a little chemistry boom boom then now we are to blame god so yeah you guys thank you for watching until this time i'm tired i'm hungry i need to go work now so see you guys thank you so much for watching i love you love you love you love you bye